have a Islamic subject. Okay. And as you know, I have already sent a video to you all. Okay. On the story of Prophet Bilal. Razi Allah Ta'ala. Okay. So, today we are just going to do a quick recap of the story. And we are going to do one of the worksheets from a book. Alright. So, are you ready? And you need to answer my questions also. Okay. In the story, as you saw, that Bilal Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha was one of the first African Muslim. Okay. And he accepted Islam when he was about 40 years of age. Okay. And he had a strong faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And he had a great love for our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. Bilal Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha had a very dark complexion, but he had a very pure heart. And you know, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved him very much. And he also cared for him. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam respected him a lot. Okay. Bilal Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha had a very, very sweet voice. And therefore, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam appointed him as a first Muazzin. Okay, he was the first Muazzin. Now, who is a Muazzin? A Muazzin is a person who gives azan. Okay, because of his good qualities, Bilal Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha was given the good news of Jannah. So, from this story, what do we learn? Yes. We should love everyone, not by their looks, okay, or by their color. A person's good habits and deeds always make closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like you saw in the story, how Bilal Razi Allah ta'ala Anha loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as he was appointed, the first muazzin, he was always ready to call the people for salam. Okay. So, we as good Muslims should love everybody for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we do this, ultimately, we'll go to Jannah because Allah ta'ala will be happy. Alright. So, make sure that you do not trouble anyone. Okay. You always be helpful to the people who are in need. You always speak the truth. Do not fight. Do not lie. Respect our elders. And you know what will happen? Our good deeds will increase. And we'll go to Jannah. You're right. And now it's time for a worksheet in our books. Please open your Islamic textbook. Come on the last page of the Islamic textbook, which is page number 5454. I hope you have completed the worksheet on page number 53. Today we are going to complete page number 54. Right? CW, today's date. Now what you need to do here is, now as you can see there are some pictures over here on this page and there are circles. You need to draw a smiley for the action which shows something you're doing right. That is, which shows a good example. And you need to draw a sad face for the actions which are bad, which are not good at all. Okay? So, you know, the first picture, as you can see, what are these two children doing? Yes, they're fighting. So, is it good? Will Allah be happy? No. So please draw a sad face over here. Now let's move to the next picture. What is that little boy doing? Yes, he's praying. So that is a good example. This will help us to become a better Muslim. So please draw a smiley face. Now let's move to the next picture. Here the two children are happily greeting each other. They're smiling and greeting, wishing each other. So, is this a good example for going to the Jannah? Yes, you're right. This is a good example. And this will help us to go to Jannah. You need to draw a happy face over here. Let's move to the next picture. Here, as you can see, the little girl. Yes, she's fallen down. And that boy is helping her. So, is this a good example? Yes, this will help us 
to go to Jenna. So please draw a happy face over here. Look at the next picture. What is that boy doing? He's throwing dirt here and there. He's throwing the garbage around. So is this a good example? No. So please draw a sad face. Now look at the next boy. What is the boy doing here? Yes, he is doing his homework and he is a good boy. So what do you need to do here? Yes, draw a happy face. Let's move to the next picture. Look at that boy. He is offering salah, which is a good thing. Offering salah is a good thing. This will take us to Jannah. So, please draw a happy face. Let's move to the next picture. Look at that girl. She's so angry. So, is it a good thing? Is it a good example? No. So, please draw a sad face. Let's move to the last example. Now look at that boy. He's sitting down and eating. Yes. So is this a good or bad example? Yes, it's a good example. So please draw a happy face. Because the boy is sitting and eating with his right hand. I hope you're done with the worksheet. As well you have understood which things will take us to Jannah. Hope. You practice good actions every day. Alright, and please keep revising the topic. That's it. That's all.